Determination of sodium chloride percent is a very important testing parameter for salt and food sample. In this video we will determine the percentage of sodium chloride of a salt sample by Moore's method. Welcome to the channel Microchem's Experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. We can analyze a sample for the sodium chloride content by following four steps. Chemical preparation, sample preparation, titration and calculation. To do the test, we need some apparatus and equipment, like balance machine, micropipette, burette with stand and conical flask. Among the chemicals and reagents we need sodium chloride, silver nitrate and potassium chromate. Reagent grade chemicals should be used in this test to get the accurate result. Let's start the analysis. Chemical and reagent preparation is very crucial for any test. So we must prepare the chemical or reagents properly. Before going for the main test we will prepare 0.1 normal silver nitrate, 0.1 normal sodium chloride, and 5% potassium chromate. 5% potassium chromate can be prepared by dissolving 5 grams potassium chromate into 100 milliliters distilled water and shaking to mix well. Keep the solution bottle wrapped with aluminum foil paper to avoid direct light exposure and store it in dark and cool place. For the preparation of 0.1 normal sodium chloride, take 0.584 gram of sodium chloride crystal into 100 milliliters volumetric flask. Add approximately 80 milliliters of distilled water into the flask and shake with hand well to ensure the complete mixing of sodium chloride and water. Now fill the flask with distilled water up to the mark. Zero point 0.1 normal sodium chloride solution is now ready to use. This solution will be used in the standardization of silver nitrate solution. Now we will prepare 0.1 normal silver nitrate solution. This can be done by following two steps. In the first step we will prepare the silver nitrate solution. To do this just dissolve 1.699 grams of silver nitrate crystal into 100 milliliters of distilled water. Use amber colored glass bottle to avoid direct exposure sunlight and always store it in dark and cool place. In this step we will do the standardization of newly prepared silver nitrate solution. Take 10 milliliters of freshly prepared 0.1 normal sodium chloride in a conical flask. Add 1 milliliter potassium chromate indicator solution and shake to mix well. Take 0.1 normal silver nitrate solution in burette which is to be standardized. Start titration after taking the initial burette reading. Reddish-brown color precipitation indicates the end point of the titration. Now take the final burette reading. It's time to calculate the actual normality of silver nitrate. Calculation of normality is pretty simple. 
We can get the volume of silver nitrate V2 by subtracting the final burette reading from the initial reading, which is 9.9 .9 milliliters. Normality of sodium chloride N2 is 0.1 normal. Volume of 0.1 normal sodium chloride V1 is 10 milliliters. We have to find the actual normality of silver nitrate N1. Now we will put the values in the equation showed in the left side. By solving the equation finally we have got the actual normality of silver nitrate solution is 0.099 normal. Finally we are ready to test our sample. At first we will prepare our table salt sample for testing. Weight approximately 0.25 gram of salt sample. Note the sample weight. Take the weighted sample in a conical flask. Add 25 milliliters of distilled water into the flask and shake well to dissolve the sample completely. Add another 25 milliliters of distilled water into the flask. Shake again to mix the sample with distilled water. Add 1 milliliter of potassium chromate. Sample preparation is done. Now we are ready to do the titration. Take standardized silver nitrate into a burette. Take initial burette reading. Now start titration. Titration should be done with vigorous agitation of the flask. Reddish brown color precipitation indicates the end point of the titration. Now take the final burette reading. It's time to go for the final calculation. For calculation we will arrange all the values and readings that we know from the test in the right side of the board, so let's arrange values first. We took 0.2511 gram of sample for the test. That's why the sample weight WS is 0.2511 gram. Now we need the volume of 0.1 normal silver nitrate that was used as titrate from the burette. We can get this volume by subtracting the final burette reading from the initial reading. So the final burette reading is 42.9. Minus. The initial burette reading is 0.5. 
by subtracting these two values we can get the V1 is 42.4 milliliters. Actual normality of silver nitrate is 0.099. We have to find the sodium chloride percent. Now we will put all of the values in the equation shown in the left side of the board. V1 is 42.4. N1 is 0 0.099. 0.00584 comes from the equation. WS is 0 0.2511. 0 0.1 also comes from the equation. By solving this equation we got a value which is 97.62. So the sodium chloride percent of the tested salt is 97.62.